Mr. Chancellor, as Provost of York University, it is my privilege to present to this convocation the candidate for the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa, Mr. J. Hennick. J. Hennick was born in Toronto in 1957, the eldest of four children of Sam and Sarah Hennick. The family home in Bathurst Manor, which was then a newly developed community of modest homes in North York, was constructed on a firm bedrock of strong values, loyalty to family and friends, an appreciation of hard work and an entrepreneurial spirit, and a partnership philosophy that Sam and Sarah modeled in their marriage and that would become the cornerstone of Jay's own philosophy in business and in life. Jay attended local public schools. First, what was then known as Cedar Grove Public School on Wilmington Avenue and then William Lyon McKenzie Collegiate near Wilmington and Shepherd Avenue. And early on, it was evident that the entrepreneurial values that Sam and Sarah had made in their home had found fertile ground in young Jay. Because as a six-year-old, he created his first business, collecting and returning neighbors' garbage cans after the weekly pickup for the sum of one cent per can. The good news was that the garbage can business is very steady year-round. But the bad news was that Jay sometimes apparently had trouble collecting the money he, know, he, he was owed by some of his neighbors. And thus, he learned the first hard lesson of any service business. Always keep a close eye on your receivables. When Jay was 15, he got a summer job as a lifeguard at a local swimming pool. One day, he was talking to the operator of the pool, who explained that he needed some lifeguards at some of his other pools, and he asked Jay whether he had any friends he could recommend. Jay immediately saw a business opportunity. Why simply provide names to the pool operator, Jay thought, when he could create a lifeguard business, recruit friends to work for him, contract with swimming pool operators to supply lifeguards? There was only one small problem. As a 15-year-old, Jay wasn't yet old enough to drive a car, but he thus couldn't get to the various pool locations to sell them on the lifeguard business. But Jay solved that problem with typical creativity by partnering with an older friend who had access to a car who could drive Jay around the city to negotiate contracts with pool operators and supervise staff. Thus, while other 15-year-olds were watching TV or hanging around the local mall, Jay Hennick was already running a successful and profitable business. He graduated from high school and he enrolled here at York University as a sociology major. And during that time at York, he expanded the lifeguard business into a complete pool service operation, which included maintaining and cleaning swimming pools. And Jay graduated from York University in 1978, which means the degrees about to be conferred upon him by the chancellor will in fact be his second York degree. But having graduated, he wanted to go on to law school, and the only problem was he was going to the University of Ottawa Law School, and he had to find a way to continue to operate the pool business while he was away. Drawing on the partnership philosophy emphasized by his parents, he offered his general manager and longtime friend, Howie Kirschenbaum, a 50% equity stake and a free hand to run the business, while Jay would earn a token salary and a share of the profits. Here, he had struck on a simple concept that would prove the cornerstone of his business philosophy. Find the right person to manage the business, give them the motivation of ownership, and share in the profits generously. This arrangement supplied Jay with a steady and effortless source of income that allowed him to go on to law school in Ottawa, where he graduated with an LLB in 1981. While still in law school, Jay married Barbara Gray, and I'm pleased to recognize Barbara and her, the three children, the three Hennick children here today. 
and they returned to Toronto in 1981 to begin their careers and family. Jay practiced law for a number of years until he decided that his true calling was in the world of business. His pool service business had grown so successful it provided him with a foundation to create First Service Corporation and to begin expanding the range of business services offered by the company. And First Service was built on that same partnership philosophy that Jay had been taught by his parents, Sam and Sarah, and that he had implemented with his pool service business. And it proved spectacularly successful. Today, less than 25 years after its founding, First Service has become a global leader in the rapidly growing real estate services sector, providing services in commercial real estate and property management with revenues of over $2 billion annually. And Jay has been recognized by his peers for his business leadership with industry honors such as being named Canada's CEO of the Year by Canadian Business Magazine. Now, not only has Jay been a successful, tremendous, tremendous success in business, he has also been an incredibly generous contributor to a wide variety of charitable causes and to the community. Together with his wife, Barbara, he's established, they've established the Jay and Barbara Hennick Foundation. And amongst the significant contributions of the Hennick Foundation has been the creation of the Hennick Center for Business and Law, which is a joint initiative of Osgood Hall Law School and the Schulich School of Business. And the Hennick Center reflects Jay's conviction based on his own experience that training in both law and business fundamentals is key to career success in the globalized world of the 21st century. Mr. Chancellor, Jay Hennick is one of Canada's most successful businessmen, building a global leader in its field through an exemplary partnership philosophy. He is also one of this university's most generous benefactors, and his philanthropy, not just here at York, but in the community generally, is exceptional and a model for others. It is my privilege to present him to you and to this convocation as a fitting candidate for the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. On the authority vested in me by the Senate of York University, I hereby confer on you the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa Admito Te Ad Gradum. Congratulations, Mr. Chancellor. 